Shalom, we're the brothers from the city of Annapolis camp. We're going to start out by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Akakwadash. We're going to give double honor to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the, the teacher, Ruel. Peace, blessing, and safety to the whole four pushing the truth. We can we out sincerity, charity, and in love. All right? We just want to get right into it. Amos 9 and 8. Behold the eyes of the Lord. Yahweh. I read it for you, brother. Nine. It's a 9 and 8. Mm -hmm. Let's look at Amos chapter 9, verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and we will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Right, because that's exactly why these judgments and uh, the things that happen in the, in the world that is, because what? Uh, the Lord see the things that America, the so-called uh, Esau Edom, has been doing upon the planet Earth, and what? So he's going to basically right, rightfully punish himself. All right? Sure. So his eyes are upon America to see, and the, the, the matter of fact, can somebody get that in Jeremiah? Like, sin is reaching into the heavens. Mm -hmm. All right? Go ahead. So, go ahead. It says... When we tread off the face of the earth, that I will not utterly. Start that, start that over. So we'll start that with that. Mm -hmm. This is Amos 9 and 8. This is Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, uh -huh. and I will destroy it off the face of the earth. Right. See, so he's going to destroy it off the face of the earth, right? That's why when you read the Revelations, it says, and I seen a new heaven coming down. Because what? The old heaven, uh, Esau's kingdom, was passed away. It was destroyed. All right? Not the whole entire world, but what? His heaven, his, his rulership. All right? Go ahead. It says, uh, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Right, he's not going to utterly, which word utterly means completely. He's not going to completely destroy the house of Jacob, but what, two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, and that, and, and, and the remnant, which is the one-third uh, one and 144 elect chosen men, is going to come up out of there to restore Israel back to its former glory. All right, go ahead. Oh. That might, was, that, was that it to that? It says, uh, for lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of it. Yeah, it was a, yep, yeah. Okay. Um, in Jeremiah, what do you call it? Yeah, I got yeah. it. Yeah. You want me to start up a little bit or jump straight to uh, the point? Just straight to the point. <coughs> yeah, straight to the point. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 9. Uh -huh. It says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Mm -hmm. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reaches into heaven. Right, man. So her judgment is reaching into the heavens, man. And the Lord is going to execute. All right. The scripture says one in the book of Proverbs says the Lord shall not all acquit the wicked. Mm -hmm. All right. So everything the Lord has written down in this book is going to happen. All right. Go ahead. It says for her judgment reaches into heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Mm -hmm. That's it. That was it, Connie. Yeah, so yeah, just show it. You got something. No, I was going to say Nahum. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 but you quoted it. That was Nahum. Oh, it was Nahum? Yeah. Oh, it's like I thought it was the Proverbs. But yeah, man, so yeah, so what? It says, uh, uh, for the Lord shall not all acquit the wicked. You know what I mean? What, man? Uh, everything that the Lord has written down in this book is going to happen, all right? Uh, Square, uh, scripture says what? The, uh, these these scores are sent for amendments, all right? Amendment is to make something right, all right? So uh, all these, uh, 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 what, curse, uh, uh, plagues, pestilence, destruction, death, Famine, all these things that's written in the book, you know, what Mormon Lamentations and Woe, all these things that's written, it's going to come to pass because what? America has has been de dealing treacherously and wicked uh, ever since he's been in rulership. Yeah. All right? Precept. Y'all can get your precept. Precept. Yeah. This is a Revelation 18 and 4. And I, heard a, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin, and that ye receive not her plagues. For her sins have reached unto the heavens. You can go into that, bro, if you want to. That's right. You got to come up. You know, you got to. <clears throat> you don't want to be partaker of the judgment that's going to come here to this place. All right. So you, you want to. You want to let go of the ways of this world, man. All right. Because hey, America is going to be destroyed. All right. And that, that, that also goes into the chariots, man. Mm -hmm. You know, us being delivered up out of this wicked place, man. You know, that chapter goes into us being saved, man. I got a hot you know, Lord willingly are some of those men, man. It's just come up out of this place that we don't be partakers in, in the, 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 the evil times that's going to come up on the earth, man. You know? Because, you, you know, the times that we're going into, hey, man, the only way out of this place is going to be the chariots, man. There's, there's going to be so much turmoil and destruction going on that, hey, you ain't, you ain't going to have nobody to look to but the Lord, man. That's, right. that, you go, that's how you're going to get delivered out of this place is the chariots, man. Mm -hmm. That's what the salvation is. Because, uh, what is that, Peter? It says the elements shall burn with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. Everything is an element. 
So the only thing that's gonna put, gonna protect the hopeful elect from that is being in those chariots. That's what mm -hmm. the salvation is. Mm -hmm. You know, Habakkuk the third, uh, I think it's like three and eight, when it says, um, "When thou didst ride upon thy chariots of salvation." Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, what's that one that says? Uh, uh, it's probably the same one you just quoted. Uh, basically, it's talking about his chariots are for destruction, also for salvation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and wrath. I, you got some more? Oh, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, this is Revelation 18 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities. Alright? So Lord, the Lord sees the sin that's going on on this earth. Alright? And it's got so many that's reached unto the heavens. Alright? The Lord remembers the things that they have done and the things that they're doing. Alright? They're going to be judged for the sins. This world is going to be judged. Right? Alright? For, for the sinful kingdom that we live in. Right? Alright? What? No, that was it. Remember her even as she remembered you, and double unto her. You say reward. remember or reward? Reward, sloppy. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. Mm -hmm. Right, so all of her for words that they did unto, unto the children of Israel, man, and the, the elect, man, are going to be able to pay that back double fold, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemar Shai. They're going to get the big payback, but, uh, as they say, as James Brown James says, Brown. Yeah. you know, we're going to have that big payback for double time. All right, it, 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 and we, when we reward them, it's going to be out of righteousness. Mm -hmm. right, it's not going to be out of uh, 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 no type of ill, uh, ill, ill uh, uh, deviousness or sinful type of thing, man. It's right? going to be justice. Yeah, yeah. Be justified by, by the Lord, man. Because when you look up justice, right, like somebody committed a crime against you, somebody committed a crime, people are like, I want justice. Right? Mm -hmm. They just they want the person to pay for their crimes. Yeah. And when you look at the and James Brown and the big payback, what he was talking about, what he was saying, you took my money, you took my honey, you did this, you did that. He saw them did all of this stuff and he ain't been he ain't been paid back yet. Precept. So we basically, through the spirit of the Lord, we come in and teach, we we're crying for justice. Yeah. yeah. And the cover she had filled. Filled to her double. How much, I, <clears throat> well, how much she have glorified herself and lived de de deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her she said in her heart, I shall sit as a queen, and I am no widow, and see no no sorrow. That's right, right. But, hey, Americans think they're gonna go on forever, no matter what they did. They think that nothing's gonna happen to them. All right, Esau, you think that nothing's going to happen to you? You think that, what, you think your house is, shall stand forever? All right, you think that you're not going to be, be a widow? But the scripture says one hour, this place is going to be destroyed, man. All right, they, they also wanted to, as, as much as you have lived deliciously, how she lived deliciously, man, on the abundance of the back of, of the church of the Israel, man. Yeah. All right, when you, when, you, when you go through these high high class neighborhoods, these people are living good, man. Mm -hmm. They're not sitting over, they're not worried about the price of gas, the price of milk. Price of food, uh, they 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 live deliciously, man. They 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 done their bond and trades, all right. The kids are set. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? This brother, you know, we was out to eat one time. Heard this little young eating money. He was just sitting there bragging about how much money he had, man. You know, <laughs> they just they 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 gained so much, man. All right, we gonna have to give them that much torment back, man. As the scripture said, man. They, they, went, they went into it. All of the like these major companies. All of them profit off slaves. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even from the, the even from the, the little bitty. Because you gotta think you got something to, to give your descendants. Mm -hmm. That's right. Like uh, Psalm 73, it, it goes into that. They are not in trouble as other men. Mm -hmm. They leave their wealth to their posterity. Mm -hmm. So they, they passing mm -hmm. on stuff down. So even if let's say somebody mess up with the money, they still got something. So they don't be they, they can they got a chance to double back, you know, they don't Never really got to start completely from scratch. Uh, yeah, because well, that, it's just not coming out. They're they getting the information about how to use certain tax codes. We, we just not getting they, yeah. they got a four hundred five hundred. Yeah, head start. Yeah, start. yeah, yeah. what I'm saying. So we're gonna pay y'all back for that. It, 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 ain't, it ain't no sweet for you. Me and me and uh, brother Shamari, we were talking about uh, why most businesses, you know, just like like world, you know, most business, uh, most businesses fall between the first uh, one to two years because of lack of labor or the lack of. Uh, 
uh, money that they have, and then we would just basically yeah. So like yeah, for, uh, for Jake startup, unless you have uh, startup money, he said only only real reason which Jake don't really necessarily have startup money. So when Jake started business, he got labor so hard. Matter of fact, to be honest, uh, once you start a business, you 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 can't even really work an average forty hours. You have to actually put overtime. You have to put a lot of fucking time and effort into your business if you want it to, to succeed. Unless you have that startup money, but most Jakes don't got the startup money, so you know they try to. Make up for uh, doing hours, but then Jake get burnt out because you only can do so many hours. But we would we equate Jay that to slavery. And I just imagine how he saw when he first you know started his kingdom, just uh 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 because in order to make for if you make a profit uh uh because uh, he's been working with Papa a lot. So in order for you make a profit, you have to charge uh, whatever whatever uh, 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 whatever labor you're doing, you have to charge three three times as much. You know for you at least at least you know for you for your for your for your workers and then for your material. You know, so just imagine a person who's starting up a business who got 100% complete uh, uh, free labor. Right. You know, that business is going to thrive no matter what. You know, I don't even care if you have a, a small business. It's going to thrive because you have free labor. You know, right. that, that that labor is going to be so, uh, how can I say, um, so uh, beneficial and so profitable that it don't even matter if you're not even really doing that much because shit, you, I mean, it's, it's free. It's not free. Not you know, you don't have to really pay for nothing, you know? Yeah. So that's why, you know, you just imagine how America has started. And then even when so called uh, emancipation started, when Jake was even let go and they had to actually start paying Jake, they was getting Jake so much fucking little pennies on the dollar, yeah. it wasn't even really mm. e even effective, mm. you know? Well, they would have to pay them back. So, oh, yeah. so it'll be like, okay, sharecropping. you sharecropping, yep. but yep. I'm I'm supplying you food yep. and I'm supplying you housing and I'm supplying you clothing, so they, so you had to get it right back anyway. Right. And so they, that's fraud. They never told me what yeah. that was. Exactly. What that amount was. Also, too, what you were talking about, um, there's a term in business everybody should know. It's called return on investment. Yeah. They never had to invest in it. <laughs> so that was that was straight profit off the top. Yep. For, for centuries, yep. it's like doing Uber and Lyft with, when you get gas money for free. Right, mm -hmm. like you, like you ain't really fucking spending anything. Or you change for free. Or change free, free cars for free. So yeah. it's like the other way. I said the only thing they paid for was supplies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, mm -hmm. everything else was free. All right, and then well, Jake was growing the supplies. The well, supplies. We 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 growing maybe, the vegetation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. I got a scripture right. real quick. Oh, okay. uh, James five and four. It says, "Behold." The hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I was just going to say that uh, even uh, with that, uh, with, with the supplies, Jake was responsible for those inventions like the cotton gin. So what they did was uh, took that, put a patent on it, and made made the money off of that. So it was just a complete robbery. So it's so it's, so it's a thousand percent profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know, it's just, for it. go ahead, bro. God, this is uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, <coughs> and uh, verse. <coughs> Verse 4, behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith, by his faith. Now, also, when we go into that word soul in the Hebrew, it's the Hebrew word nepash, and the definition there is what the inner being of men. And we understand, according to scripture, that this man Esau, Edom, the so called white man, was created to be the wicked. All right, so nothing about this devil is, is righteous, man. You know, scripture say, uh, let favor be shown to the wicked, but he will not learn righteousness, roughly paraphrasing. Yep. It says, but the just shall live by his faith, which also that's going to the elect, living by faith. It says, yea, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Right, that's because he transgresses by wine, meaning he's going to these various other nations all across the world, spreading his false uh, ways of life, his false doctrines, philosophies, pretty much you know, uh, promoting death all across the world, man. And it's, and it work, and, and it's been working. Mm -hmm. That's why he, that's why he a proud man, because mm -hmm. it's been straight up working mm -hmm. on, on, on the people. Once it's not working now, you know, you got it, though. Come, come. It says, neither keep it at home who enlarges his desire is hell right. You know, this dude going across all nations, you know, reaping their resources, man, taking right. their belongings, so on and so forth. Yeah. And like it says, uh, his desire enlarges as hell. 
right? And also, we understand hell is the grave, and there's no limit to how many bodies are right, uh, the grave can hold, man. So I'm going to show you that what this man's desire runs deep, man. He can never have enough. He, he, he insatiable. Mm -hmm. He you want know, his resources and yours. Mm -hmm. you we know, go, go, go to the first part. What is the imaginable? Wrong. 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 What is the that show you about this this modern day this modern day uh, country Esau? What do you follow the custom of Rome? Because mm -hmm. that's the same thing that Rome did. Rome wants to do what they want to conquer. They want to make sure they ready the, the basically the new so so called world. You mm -hmm. know? That's what the whole um, you know the the, 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 the hit the, um, the ship is about. You know, mm -hmm. so he can have complete and utter control of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, so he has his hand in everything. There isn't no gonna be no backdoor sales or He gonna have his hand in almost. I ain't gonna say a slot, not almost. He's gonna have his hand in every little transaction that you make. Mm -hmm. You know? And you know, dealing with that, that's why the scriptures Pretty say uh, this this man is trying to be like the most high, if you paraphrase, because Yahweh watched me outside. He, he don't need technology to know where everybody is, where everybody's thinking. Right? He, hey, hey, he, Yahweh watched me outside is just that kind of power. But Esau, he's trying to achieve this, the, the same abilities as Yahweh watched me outside by way of his technology. He jealous. Mm hmm. He's yeah. jealous. That's right. And at the end of the day, he's trying to set himself up to be the savior of the world, right? I remember uh, reading an article back then concerning AI, and uh, it was a, it was a key statement that stood out to me, and it said that ultimately that this man was going to show forth technology as a means of salvation and yeah. not God. So just going to show you that what the, a, a that that shows you just what what kind of man we dealing with, man. All right, a man who's totally adverse to you. How about Shmuel It says uh, it says uh. So like y'all starting over Habakkuk 2 and 5, yea, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Mm -hmm. Neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and keepeth unto him all people. And also that's the end goal of this devil, man, to rule over the whole world. Verse 6, it says, Shall not all these take up a parable against him? And a taunting pro proverb against him, and say, "Woe to him that increases that which is not his." Going to back, going back to what you were saying earlier about you know the cotton gin, him putting a pattern on it and making it his. All right, also this, this man Esau come, comes up with nothing. All right, he he he, he hasn't invented anything. Oh, uh, 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 weapons. Kind of, uh, uh, we were talking about in a uh, car uh, uh, earlier, elder, mm -hmm. about uh, how uh, uh, Esau he didn't even get the idea of crucifixion himself. So this, this dude, he, he, he's a, the true culture vulture, man. Can't come up with nothing himself. Well, what's the name of, uh, 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 in the book of Who is Esau Edom, the, uh, uh, Charles, uh, Charles A. White, Whitman said that. Well, he's talking about the, he was talking about the, uh, the small hats, yeah. but, you know, the, he, but the, the, the trait that he said, that's an, he, that's all, that's an every Edomite. Yeah. You know, they're the, uh, they're the, uh, um, what's it called? He said, there's the, there's the cancer, they're the yeah. vulture, and they're the, uh, the leech on the earth, they, which means they, they mm -hmm. suck, and all them, and all them, basically, all that is, they suck. Uh, uh, in order for it to it exist, they have to suck the life force of something else. You know, mm -hmm. they're parasite. They're parasite. Yeah, you a, know, there's a proverb that says the horse leech cry, they yeah. cry, give, give. You know, the horse leech. You know, that's not that's blood sucker. Yeah, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you got different types of relationship. You got a, a symbiotic relationship, meaning both parties both part, benefit. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. a parasitic relationship, meaning only one party benefit. You know, it's just, it's usually, just usually, parasite. yeah, usually off the life of another. So yeah, at the expense of another. Expense of another. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. See, it can't benefit on its own. It has to. Yeah, grow everybody up. can't live. All right. All right. <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh, but no, even in that scripture though, it says, uh, "Read that part again." Okay. It says, uh, "Habakkuk two and six shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that it, excuse me.'" Woe to him that increases that which is not his. Right, because how he's, one of the preeminent ways he heaped all nations to himself is through the, the money system, the mm -hmm. dollar system. Mm -hmm. So you got you got us, you know, which you know our apostles and elders, other men been coming out, people been writing books, exposing Esau. It ain't been it, it ain't been getting a lot of traction. Then it's been getting a lot of traction now, mm -hmm. but you got the other nations doubling down too with it. I think uh, they tried to say something about Russia. Uh, they this and they that, but then Russia like, what about them, them, them slaves, y'all? What about slavery? Mm -hmm. And then other countries he's speaking. So now these other countries is uh is, is having talks and proverbs against mm -hmm. America too. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, scripture say you know the nations were mad, so 
then we in a time period where ultimately, you know, everybody, everybody's tired of American shit, basically. Everybody tired of Esau shit, basically. Him going to their lands, stealing their resources, trying to implement his laws, his democracies, his ways in their lands. They're they not having it. So that's why, look, that's why, man, hey, when, when the Lord puts his spirit, when, when the Lord puts his spirit on these other nations beginning with Russia to shoot missiles over in America, it ain't going to be no mercy shown, man. And it says, uh, how long unto him that laid himself with thick clay, which that thick clay is going to debt. You know, the uh, when you look at the um, the U.S. debt clock, it's about over, what, like $35 trillion in debt. Somewhere around that, it's yeah. somewhere around that, which is ultimately why they're going to shift everything to digital. All right, the ultimate that, that great reset, man. Pretty so. You know? Yeah, this is a debt-based economy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they call it credit, but it's really debt. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, yeah. they got something called good debt. So this right. uh, this whole economy, the whole American system is is based off debt. Mm -hmm. So they said they laid in themselves. They they just take they just take it on, mm -hmm. you know. And their debt is us. Yeah, the the, yeah, the American people. yeah the American you people. You know what? Um, if I may uh, add, uh, when Biden is going to enact the Fourteenth Amendment, uh, a section of it. Well, the precursor of that amendment is uh, if you're born on U.S. soil, uh, you're a citizen of the United States. Well, anything after that, you know, if that, that debt clause is in there, that's talking about you at the top. It's talking about the people. Mm -hmm. And that's how and that's how they plan to do it, by making people slaves of you through this uh, uh, NWR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody got some ice on the plate. I call it pre-sub. Yeah, this book of Jeremiah, chapter 49. Uh, I'm going to get straight to the point in verse 9. It says, if grape gatherers came to thee, but they not leave some green and cleaning grapes. Mm -hmm. If thieves by night, they will destroy it till they have enough. You know, ultimately that that's the nature of, of this devil Esau, man. Precept. You know, you know, Esau strip you of everything, yeah. you know, for their own gain, man, for their own profit. You know, and it, mm -hmm. it's so bad to the point, you know, you hear brothers say all the time, you know, if Esau was left in charge, hey man, they'd destroy their own people and the earth. Then, you know, they have kamikaze day, so, man. Oh, you know, that's why the scriptures say in uh, Matthew 24 chapter that uh, no flesh should be saved but for the elect that the Lord has shortened days. Because yep. pretty much like the brother just said, Esau, he wound up taking his own self out yep. just to achieve his goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Can I read this right quick? This is in the book, Who is Esau? Even what I just quoted. Um... Uh, this is uh, page 27. It says, God, it says, God's position towards Edom is this regard was not going to change. It would forever preserve, prevent Esau from establishing a, civilization, a civilized nation. The Jews are perhaps the only race that has never had a land or nation of their own. Even the most primitive tribe had their own land and nation. And nation. Hmm. The Jews, however, are a parasitic people who roam the civilized world seeking a host nation that they could sustain so they could substance on and prosper at the expense of others while contributing nothing to to quote the jew samuel roth it says our 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 major vice of of old as of today is par is paratism paratism parasitism paratism yeah we it says we are uh, we are a we now remember this is the jews saying this so called so called we are a people of Vulture, vultures living on the labor and the good and the good nature of the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. What a story, and then it just goes basically because that guy he wrote a book about it, and they basically just quote like about maybe a paragraph of what uh, what he wrote. But basically, just going into like you know they don't have the drive. They don't even have it. Actually, goes into basically they don't even have the necessarily unction. You know when you you know when you when you, when you know when a guy wants to work, a man wants to go home work. You know he kind of mm -hmm. feels good about himself. You know he just provides it. They don't even have that, you know. They don't even mm -hmm. want to kind of. They want to provide off the expense of another. Like you know, like if this if this guy's worked all his all his time, mm -hmm. hey man, sure. let's start a business where you can do all the work, but I'm gonna be all the profit. You know, right. that shows you that in um the uh, the movie uh, Cadillac Records. Yeah. You know, they did that with, with the one guy uh, with the Chuck Berry. Mm -hmm. The guy would say, "I'm gonna make you rich, and I'm gonna make you famous." And Chuck Berry was like, "Well, hold on, wait a minute." And he swapped seats with dude. He said, "I want to be rich, fuck fame," you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the guy was supposed to be a fake Jew or whatever, but uh, y'all gotta go ahead. Uh, this is uh, just to back you up. This is Sirach chapter 13, verse 4, and it reads If thou be for his prophet, he will use thee, but if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. 
And that's that's pretty much what, what you're going into, you know. As long as you can make him money, you know, you got these athletes, you got these people with these uh, singing contracts, you know, uh, all that different type of stuff. And once you washed up, you know, he's, he's done with you. And that's why he's not letting Jay go. That's why when Jay talk about going, you know, to, to you know, leave the country and all like that, and massive, you know, he saw to cut that out. You know, and one and one good vice for that is a, a felonies. Mm -hmm. You know, get a felonies yeah. where you can't even get a passport and everything. Like that. And they, that's all systematic. You know, it, just, it had the same uh, uh, a spirit when Fair when we was in, in Egypt. Mm -hmm. You know, Fair won't let us go. You know, he saw. Uh, uh, he's the same. You know, he, he's the same way because they know wherever the children of Israel is at, you know, that, that place is gonna be blessed. Huh? You know, so. Huh? They don't gonna let us go. That's that's why he's compared to Pharaoh in Romans nine. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, that's why I said, Lord, we need the Lord to come and deliver mm -hmm. us. You right. know, because we leave right. that to Him, and we'll be here for forever. Yep. Yeah. Verse uh, five: If thou have anything, He will live with thee. Yea, He will make thee bare and will not be sorry for it. Yep. That's exactly what happened to us when we were in um seventy AD. Uh, it's not seventy AD. Um, uh, the dark ages. Yeah, the dark ages. Yeah, mm -hmm. visiting the empire. You know what we started. You know, with, so uh, 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 what was his name? Um, John Arcanus. Was it John Arcanus? Who's the one who started bringing Esau in? Arcanus. Yeah. It was Arcanus. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. Kind of, it was yeah, John Arcanus started what bringing it, bringing them in. Started you know they started you know marrying to the family. Started getting up on it. And then what? Eventually we failed. Yeah. You know, it was all prophecy, anyways. But right. you know right. that shows you how, how sneaky because you know you got to think when he started bringing this in, they wasn't like, oh, thank you, sir. Thank mm -hmm. you. We were we, we humble slave. No, they was they would start a plot back then to, to, mm -hmm. to, to overtake us. Uh, so that's what it says, what? Never trust thy enemy. Yeah. 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 In, the, in, the, in the never trust thy enemy, when you read down, it says, uh, least, he, least he take thy seat. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Prevail over it, yeah. And I was saying, another, another uh, the movie to show that was The Founder. Yeah, oh man, oh, I was pissed off when I watched that movie, man. You knew that the, the dudes who started the uh, McDonald's, they was Jake, but Esau mm -hmm. came in, I'm going to show you this and change it. Well, you knew it. They didn't even have. They didn't have ownership when they come. Yep, yep. But it's like he owned the buildings they hit. They was that they first started on. Yep. Did you know who else? Remember those cookies, famous Angus? Yep. Yeah, yeah. It happens to that dude the Jack same Daniels. way. Jack Daniels. Daniels. I was thinking that. Well, well, dude was a slave. The dude that invented Jack Daniels, he was a slave. Mm -hmm. Uncle, I think it was, was it Uncle Nearest. Yeah. But the, 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 the guy who. Sorry. So you. You know, that's a one story out of a million, you know, with all yeah. the stuff that the so-called, you know, all the stuff the slaves invented. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, so a slave, uh, an Israelite taught, uh, taught Jack Daniels how to make whiskey and all of that. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. This is the last one. Uh, Sirach chapter 13, verse 6, and it reads, If he have need of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee and put thee in hope. He will speak thee fair and say, What wantest thou? So that that happens a lot in these com in these companies too, these uh, 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 the big companies where you know you, you got the boss, you know you do a, a very very great job. Strictly business, uh, yeah, it was in there. You do a great job, they take all the credit for it, you know, give you nothing for it, and won't even speak to you the next day on the elevator. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is. Anybody else got something? I got something. Anybody else got pre I got something. Okay. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 55 and verse 21. It says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Start verse 20. God. Uh, Psalms chapter 55 and verse 20. It says, He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. And that's what that's what Esau do. He act like he's a friend. Hey, hey, hey buddy. Hey, hey, what's going on? You know, just with the brother boys. Hey, buddy. You have to talk to him, Colin, so you give him an idea of what he do. He'll take that idea, right on up there to the boss, act like he came up with it, and he gets something out of it. Mm -hmm. They do that all the time. So you really, just like you really be careful who you talk to, you know, and who you conversate with, because Esau mm -hmm. do, does that all the time. You come with a great idea, and then we should do this to the company, this and this and this and this. And you, next week you look up all with, well, uh, but Jeff came up with a great idea. Mm -hmm. and it was your idea, though. You know, go ahead. It says he had broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than than butter, but war was in his heart. Right, they always had that that they come with that smooth uh, operator talk, man. Oh yeah, man, you you doing a great job. <laughs> you doing a great job. Hey, man. Everything's okay, man. Hey, man. Hey, bud, buddy. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. But you're not gonna break some Hey, man. Oh, he, he half-assed did this. He half-assed did that. You gotta watch him, you gotta get on by him. Mm -hmm. 
Because really, really, take they be fucking threatened by you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They be threatened by you, bro. They don't, they don't know no other way but to try to sabotage you, man. Reset. You know because the they, they, then they also have the ultimate hatred that they have for you, man. That's in their blood. They just they, they can't shake it, man. Right. Because it's something the Lord gave them. You know, but they really be envious. You know, uh, it, 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 the hardest thing to, uh, to be in front of your peers is envious of a nigga. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, Esau don't fight for that. Yeah. So, you know, when you watch a fight, a lot of times in a fight, the, the, the best punch would be that, that sucker punch. Mm -hmm. And that's how Esau do. Uh, 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 I forgot to, to quote the verse the brother was just reading. They, they break the covenant first. They break the treaty first mm -hmm. to get the one up on you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like they put you in hope to, to lower your defense. You know, mm -hmm. right? So that you can lower your, you know what I'm saying, right. lower your guard. And then once your guard lowered, they come with that sucker punch. Because if everything was fell, then they wouldn't be able to prevail. If you knew they was the enemy right off top, then yep. that you yep. take it away from their advantage because they don't got a lot. They don't got no advantage over you besides treachery, really. Mm -hmm. really, really good example of that, you know, is what yeah. the yeah the Indian natives, you know, so-called the Indians, you know, they small pop, al yep. uh, alcohol, you know, got them, got them drunk, you know, and then it's like, you know, if you can conquer the man, then you got the women mm -hmm. and children. What the scripture calls him a cutting hunter, and mm -hmm. he says, what, what, what are we into him right now? We're his prey. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so, you know, by him being so cunning, you know, in, in the hunting, uh, in the hunting, out, in, out, actually out there hunting, he understands what to do in order to be so so slick and so crafty, you know, with his prey. Mm -hmm. You know, and if we're, if, we're, if we're considered the prey right now, you know, he, he does certain tactics like that to, to keep us, what, docile, like, okay, yeah, this guy's trustworthy, and then boom, like the brother uh, said about the sucker punch, as soon as as soon as we not least expect it, you know, the boom, he, he jizzes in the throat, he, he cuts our throat, he, he gunshots us. You know, if you get the deer on your side, it makes that hunt that much more easy. Yeah. You know, yeah. who, wants to, who wants to hunt down the deer, got to track it down, got to, you know, exhaust energy. Or if you can cold, pat its head, give it some food, you know, it's all nice, and you just cut its throat, you know, that, that's yeah. an easier catch, yeah. you know. You know, that's why, uh, that's why the scripture says concerning Esau, you know, that he's wiser than Daniel. That there's no secret that can be uh, hidden from him, cause ultimately this dude he 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 studied Jake to the T, mm -hmm. so he know he knows where to hit, you know where not to hit, and cause ultimately once again he studied Jake, so he knows like the certain things that's gonna lure Jake into his trap, man. He knows the certain things in the world that's gonna you know entice Jake are to do his will. All right, ultimately that that that's the main reason why Jake fall, cause once again they trust in his devil, man. Yeah. Uh, speaking on that as well, you know, that's why it's a beautiful thing that we got these scriptures, man. God, God. Hey, because because we, we we fully aware of your tricks, man. And you, you're not going to get the most uh, the man of uh, the Lord, man. You might fool with some of these simple-minded jakes out here, but the man of the, uh, the, man of the Lord, you're not going to fool with your, your wicked devices, man. Right. 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 And, that's, and, and like you just quoted, you know, when you go in the word devices, you know, it goes into uh, the inner workings of the mind. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, you know, we're not going to be tricked by, because we understand how this devil thinks, you know. I think it's one scripture where it talks about, uh, don't indulge in his dainty meats, oh, yeah, you know. Just, uh, just yeah. Yeah. The same scripture. I'm a, can I pull this real quick? Just to, Calvary, uh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, who's reading? You wrote it. I still got it. You can still have a little bit more. Let me finish out of you guys. It says, his, his words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn, drawn swords. Mm. Yeah, man, because, you know, war is the uh, main intent in, in this dude's mind, man. All right, uh, Esau Edom waging, waging war, or these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, mm -hmm. is his man's uh, main uh, main intent, his, his main, uh, uh, his, his mission, man. All right, that's why he uses, uh, uh, he's he's so uh, uh, good in, in using uh, tactics to, to try to smooth talk Jake into, into uh, uh, him getting on uh, a, uh, Jake, whatever he, he wants uh, uh, Jake to do, all right, because, you know, just like how the brothers uh, uh, on the one uh, was speaking about, you know, he, this this man, Esau Edom, is, is cunning, man. All right, he, he studies Jake. All right, he knows the, the uh, how Jake behaves and how, uh, on how to, uh, uh, you, you know, Jake's uh, uh, weak points, more so to speak, you know, because our people, they're, they're more, uh, they're, 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 they're more uh, simple. You know, but 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 Esau, he he's maneuvering like like, like a predator, man. And our people, they're they're like they're like the prey, man. You know, defense us out here. You know. Well, yeah, he appealed to the flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'll say if I may add, that's you know, really the whole purpose about the earth being given into the hand of the wicked. We're an experiment to him. 
All right, and when he has control of the entire earth, he can set all the variables any way he wants to and see how we react. And hence, we have the, uh, the term um, um, uh, order out of chaos. Problem, action, uh, solution. Problem, action, solution, yep. The Gagrian dialectics. Yep. So he controls all the variables, what you eat, where you go, how you get there. Mm -hmm. You know, he controls all of that. It and goes, then, to, it's, it's like, I, but uh, that brother said something, I want to say something earlier. Y'all remember Donald Sterling when he mm -hmm. got mad? Yeah. And y'all remember the phone conversation? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And when the, the, the chick, when she was so-called half black, half Mexican, she was like, why are you so angry? Why are you so upset? And one of the things he said was, he said, because he's my enemy. He said Magic Johnson was, and she like, how are you let me you know? But he was, when you listen to the, which I was listening to the conversation like a week ago, a lot of the stuff he was saying was going over her head. Yeah. It was it was going over his, his her head for real. But he was like, basically, they never forget. They never forget, like, look, them people the enemy. So while, while we was sleeping, we didn't know who the enemy was. He still was, he still was searching. Mm -hmm. Like when they go into, like how they was infiltrating the different Jake groups. The guy was saying it like, yeah, he, he knew more about uh jazz than I did. He knew more about uh who's the the great jazz dude? The, well, Miles Davis. Miles Davis. Yeah, he knew more about Miles Davis. Why? Because they, they studied mm -hmm. they studied Jake, you know? Well that uh, Sterling, you know, that name that appetite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes back to the so. precept. <clears throat> That's a quick one. I kind of quoted it. So uh, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So, you know, laying back is what I was saying. You know, hey, the most high, hey, he gave us the blueprint, man. So we we not ignorant of, you can't get no advantage over the man of the Lord. Right. You know, it's, we not in, ignorant of your devices. You know, like the elder was saying, you know, the devices going into the inner workings of your mind, you know, your thoughts, your thought process, man. So, hey, you, you can't get no advantage over the uh, man of the Lord. And that shows you that that's his advantage. Back up to yeah. what brother was kind of saying. If you don't, if he doesn't have that secretness, if he doesn't, if you know, if you see him who he truly is, he doesn't have an advantage anymore. Because that's what he used to, 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 to get everything that he gets. That sneaky, that clever, that cunningness. You know, so if you see him and you don't, and you keep your arms length and you keep away from him, you don't give him that advantage. So he can't, you know, he can't, he, he, he can't prevail over you. Uh, you know? You know, on top of that as well, I was going to say, you know, you know what that is. Can't be a sucker they, punch if you see the punch for coming. Uh, yeah, but no, they, they uh, lose that element of surprise. And you know, uh, that, you know, back in war times, you know, that's how a lot of wars was won by uh, surprising your enemy, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, so, so he saw they can't surprise us because we, we not ignorant of his uh, devices, man. Uh, uh, go ahead, NLT, NLT, uh, 2 and 11 in NLT. So that Satan will not outsmart us, mm. for we are familiar with his evil schemes. Mm. No, yeah, his plans don't change. <laughs> right, quick, quick. And, and just to show you that we're dealing with a higher power, the Lord gave us this. He, the Lord gave us this knowledge to to, to combat against him. Yeah. You know, so we didn't come. That, that's why. Uh, pride, man. I'm sorry, but that's why we know this is the truth because the Lord had revealed something unto a person. We have a whole nation of people. You know, and ever since He's revealed that to us, bro, like it, 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 you can see Esau for who, who is as clear as day. You know. Mm -hmm. It's not one Edomite you can trust. You always look him with that side eye, and you and, 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 and once you once you really understand this guy, you see, damn, that's why he did this. That's why you know we see how Jake get tripped up every single time. You know, because what the Lord has revealed unto us the inner workings of a whole nation of people. You know, you got to tell us not one good. Not one, yeah. Right, it's hard work with back to the other. It's Amos three seven says, "Surely the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets unto the prophets." Mm -hmm. right. That's all with the scripture and this devil, man. The Lord has shown us the, the, the inner works of this devil. We've, we've learned his we've learned his spirit. You know, we we've learned Satan's spirit, man. How you gonna come up against him? We see things on the news where uh they don't even bother us no more. Certain things are going on in the world, we know it's all safe, man. You know, it's all Esau ass, man. You know? I have one real quick. Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh Bashim mm -hmm. Yahweh and their works are in the dark, mm -hmm. and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? Right. right. That also goes back into their pride, thinking that they can't be seen. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, if they do be seen, they say, What? The Lord has forgotten. Yep. You know? They think the Lord don't see the, the wickedness that they're doing, but it says in the book of Mark, it says, What? Everything that's done in the dark shall 
we go into the rooftops. Yeah. You know? That's why what? That's why Esau is a. Uh, uh, that's why you got uh, Isaiah the forty seven chapter that says what? Uncover the lots, make bare the lid. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uncover the secret places. So what the Lord is revealing through the internet, through various, uh, 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 through various uh, uh, media, uh, through various yeah. ways of us uh, whistleblowers, media. You know, he's, this man is being revealed for all his, his his secretness. You know, like the what's that? What's the thing that happens every once a year, like around um, like around uh, uh, the springtime? Um, they go and worship the owl and shit. They oh, the Bohemian, 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 Bohemian Grove. Grove. See, people didn't know about the Bohemian Grove uh, uh, back in the, uh, the 80s and 90s and 60s. The, the Apostle, yeah. you know, but but where it really now everybody knows about. It. Now you can talk about yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, if you if you if you paying attention, you know, about it, you know, yeah. you know. But if you yeah, you talking about the Bohemian Grove because you have a whole conversation with a, with an Edomite, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah the guys, the, the, you know, they they brushed off like oh yeah, just a. The rich weirdos, you know, but we understand it's a little more deeper than that. Right. But you know, then the whole what? Uh, 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 the, I don't know if they're gonna kick the video down if I say it. So I'm gonna just say the island with the edu, yeah, you know, yeah. that thing right there. You know, it's all, yeah, that's not the only one, bro. Esau probably has millions of those, man. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, that's why the scriptures say in the book of Jeremiah 49, I have made Esau bitter, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's he's, he's revealing his yeah. secret. Yeah. Yeah. And then he, when you go up to that island, that's, that's go there's a repeat of history. Christopher, I don't say his last name, he did the same thing. He would, he would mm -hmm. take uh, young girls at young ages and take them to the islands. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes, so what, what, he, 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 what he did was he, he, would, uh, he would send them back over to uh, uh, Spain. Spain. And he, he said, he said, he said a, a, a young, he, he just had, he had a, a wicked spirit on him. A young woman was better. A young woman slave was better than dealing with a woman or you know, he he he, but he 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 started that pretty much sex trafficking, bro. Yeah. You like, know, like you said, repeated history, man. He had to do Tiberius Caesar, which he was worse. Oh my lord. He had, he had a place called uh, Tiberius Cliff, where he would take little boys to that cliff, pop them, so. and throw them off the cliff. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. going to show you the wickedness of this devil, man. So, hey, that 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 wicked spirit that's within this man carries forth generations, man, and, and he not gonna change. I, I, Nero came right. <laughs> <laughs> that was he in the scripture. Tiberius, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you know. Good. Uh, now, this book, uh, Jeremiah 13 and uh, 23, it says, Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed do, to do evil. So that's just backing up what the brother Amawan was saying. You know, Esau, Esau, they done had this same, same spirit for generations and generations. You know, it, it, it's not going to change, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 10 it says never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth so is his wickedness right so also like as iron is guaranteed to rust so is guaranteed this man Esau even to show forth his wickedness man and the brothers brought out many scriptures showing that it, it, it's not possible for this man to be righteous man and the brother just read in Jeremiah 13 23 uh, may he do good that are accustomed to, excuse me that are accustomed to do evil man so this man cannot do good and a lot of a lot of you guys like some niggas like sit on the man and work y'all trust into this man and his system, man. All right, then he finna show you what he finna do with his system and the so-called trust you got in him when all hell breaks loose. He's gonna show you who he truly is. Because our people really do trust into this system. Oh, I gotta put money up for this. I gotta have this for this. Oh, you know, it, it's a certain, y'all trust that lifestyle that Esau is given in, in his system. And, hey, he finna show y'all real soon, man. Mm -hmm. All right, keep yeah, keep on trusting them. That that, that devil gonna show you what he's about, man. Very soon. Go ahead. Going on, it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. So ultimately, hey, this devil man, he gonna come to you, you know in a humble spirit. He gonna come to you lowly. Hey, how you doing, man? And we got these programs for you, and you'll be all good. Or what's in the back of his mind, putting you in in, in, in just a, a ditch, man, and making life hard for you. That that's that's what. You know, Esau Edom's goal is toward so, uh, you so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. Man, he's not for your benefit, man. He's for your destruction. It says, um, and thou shalt be unto him 
as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust, that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away, because also once again this dude is the wicked. Okay. Verse twelve. Hey, see, I was just told this brother. That was exactly what it was fraud on with. Uh, what was it saying? Smeagol. Yes. I'll show you the way. Oh, master, master, master. So if you got a chance, he attacked him. Bit yeah. his finger off, bro, because he, he, had a, he had an ultimate goal of what he wanted. That nigga is Smeagol. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga Smeagol, bro. Esau. The nigga was a hobbit. Yeah, he was humble. He got the curse of Cain. He looked like a damn dog. Oh, yes, bro. Yeah. Nigga all through his shit. Yeah, bro. A vagabond and a yeah. wonder. He ain't yeah. got no on. Oh, yeah. He raw beat, quick, no problem. That nigga sleep. That nigga is wild. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We telling you that this devil is not for you. We telling you that this devil is wicked. We telling you that the that the devices and various different schemes that this devil is coming up with uh, with is not for you, Jacob. But what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna trust in Egypt. Y'all gonna trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right, put your trust in men and not Yahweh Watch me out shot. So when, all right, sad effects or sad consequences come upon you, all right, for trusting this devil, we not gonna feel sorry for you because we warned you. And we we warned you. All right, you have been warned. Mm -hmm. Verse 15, for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tear. Because ultimately, hey, hey, when, when we begin to fall, who was the first one there? Esau and Edom. Oh, yeah. uh, throughout history. See, when we was, uh, I believe, uh, uh, when we was going to the Babylonian captivity, man, Esau was there. Yeah. And we going to the Babylonians. When you, have, when you have earthquakes in Puerto Rico, Haiti, um, or, or uh, New Orleans, uh, the floods and the hurricanes. Yeah. Who's there first? FEMA. Yeah. You know, they, they the first ones. Um, Trump throwing, you know, making light of it. So it's, 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 it, you see it, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. them companies, them yeah. companies, they just have uh, benevolent and, and positive titles. Right. Yo, FEMA, because when you hear it, you're like, FEMA, oh, the Federal Emergency, whatever the hell it stands yeah, for. Like, oh, okay. Federal Emergency Medical Administration. Yeah, something like, oh, FEMA, oh, okay. But whole time, they there to 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 pick what's left. Like that one movie with Terrence Howard in it, right? When they showed about them guys. I think it was on Netflix a couple years ago. It showed what was going on down there when, when the Hurricane Katrina came with the mm -hmm. FEMA. And how them, they wasn't getting aid, and then the guys they broke into the FEMA office, and they it was a whole bunch of money in there. But they would come every day to get aid, and they they would the FEMA people would tell them we ain't got it, we ain't got it. But come to find out, they did have it, and they was they 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 used those different organizations to 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 operate and uh through uh, operating <coughs> in wickedness yeah. and uh in secrecy. Gross. Look, look at it. Look, look, look at those um, infomercials used to come on when you was late. Yep, look, I'll take feed, yeah. feed a child uh -huh. for a dollar a day. <laughs> Help them drink clean water. It was like before. you like, damn, y'all, this don't like forty years. Damn, y'all ain't saved them kids yet. Well, they had a guy. They had a guy. <laughs> no, seriously, bro. No, forty years. Look, they had a guy who was doing it, and he exposed it. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, they, yeah. The so-called, so-called uh, white dude. Lord putting the spirit on people to expose shit. Yeah. That guy came out there, they would have it, where they'll angle it, they'll take the picture a certain type of way, and they'll do it. And he was like, he didn't want to be a part of it. They going on vacations and shit with the money, like living it up with the money. Yeah. And so then with the, the, the floor of the La Paz Oprah and uh, yeah, the uh, Rockhead. Yep. Yeah, that's so what I was thinking. They, they, they got caught up with the, with the knowledge shit. You know, they get money, get them out with the, that was really popular, that shit. Yeah, because the Oprah owned... In that in that particular area, she owned like they oh, them that have other 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 land over there. A, a natural disaster that happens is nothing but a profit for Esau, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much that what it summed up to, man. Any natural disaster that happens, man, is, is a profit for this dude, man. You know, going out, he coming to help the people, but he really coming in just to just to reap the resources, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kind of going on another three more verses. Verse 16, Sirach 12 and 16, it says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, mm -hmm. but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee in a pit. Mm -hmm. He will weep with his eyes. A pit, a, 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 a tough spot. Because mm -hmm. yes, I think a pit going to, uh, no, the word system going to pit. And a system is a whole bunch of different variables, a whole bunch of different avenues. And when, when they come together, it's all to keep you uh, in a sunken place. Mm -hmm. God, what are they going to we have to go. We have to help the people of Hawaii. We have to help them. They all cry and rock. Help my people. They ain't start needing help till they fucking came down there and annexed them. Yep, yep. They won. Uh, Hawaii uh, was one of the top places for being homeless, fat, and transgender mm -hmm. uh, 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 some years ago. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this is one of the top top spots of homelessness, overweight, and trans and trans transism. And you start seeing a lot of those people move into the states. And they were asking, like, why were they moving in? Because, see, see Esau, they, they, they had made the cost of living so high over there mm -hmm. you know, to, to drive the people out, but that didn't work. You know, they just had enough of them. We just going to zap y'all ass. We'll get y'all out here that way. Right. You know? So I think 
milk over there. Like a gallon of milk over there is like $20. Damn. It's, it's, it's not cheap to live in Hawaii, bro. Mm. It's not. It's very expensive. That a lot of stuff got to be imported in there. Yeah. yeah. Every, everything is being imported. Yeah. Uh, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, they got natural shit. They, it's, it's not see? No but Jacob, see? Right. That's a, that's, that don't make no sense. You got all that fish over there. You got all them pineapples, right. mangoes, bana bananas. See, but that, but see, but that's what Esau do. They will come over there and take your natural resources and put you on 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 their death colonial diet. Yep. Right. right. And then yeah. on top of that, you know, Esau so yeah. wicked. They will come over there and limit how much you can you can fish and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Permits. And shit. You need a permit. Yeah. Like, nigga. <laughs> So I'm natural life. It's natural, natural resources. You like We're paying for natural. water. So, so right. Strawberries. <laughs> <Rice. laughs> <laughs> but, hey, look. We, hey, we laugh at them. We laugh at them. Right, that's true. Even, people presume them to be what? But what he was saying was, he said, why yeah, does America look so fucked up? Why are we so fucked up? Not other countries are not. You know, we pay for water. They should be strawberries. There should be no homeless people in America, bro. And that's true. As much resources and food this place throw out every day, boom. This supposed to be the best country in the world. This right. the worst country in the world, dude. Hmm. Man, you got some clothes out there. The real shit, hole. I got a little bit more. It says, uh, he will weep with his eyes, but if but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied uh, with blood. Because most of this dude, we don't want a bloodthirsty uh, individual, uh, man. The scripture say in Ezekiel uh, uh, 35th chapter, because thou was not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee, right. man. Hey, this man has shed so much blood. Of the nation of Israel, man, and especially when it's Latin American, that's gonna fall back upon him because ultimately the Lord is gonna cleanse this man, excuse me, cleanse this land by the blood of him that shed it. Uh, sorry. Justice. Mm -hmm. Verse 17 If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, mm -hmm. and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he yet shall he undermine thee. Right. So ultimately, you know, if you like if you if you in adversity, hey, Esau gonna be there first, because who caused the adversity? Mm -hmm. Esau, man, he, he 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 the one that came up with all these devices and you know, all these very different plots to put you in a tight spot, man. So he gonna be there first, and in his mind, like I said, he shall under mind he's gonna be in his head. Got this nigger, right? Because that's how this dude is, man. Verse eighteen. This nigga don't miss. Right. Well, it go it go this back to miss. go back to the half of coup two. You were saying earlier. Mm -hmm. He said uh, he transgressed by wine. Or it says woe unto them. That give his uh, his neighbor the bottle to drink that he may yeah. look on his nakedness. Yep. So then he don't give you the, the the doctrine to destroy yourself, mm -hmm. and then he sit back and and and, and laugh at you. Mm -hmm. He sit back and laugh at your expense. Mm. It says uh, he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Because deep down, hey, this this man he he's happy to oppress Jake yep. uh -huh. because he he knows all right how how, how it will go down if Jake was on top, man. And J Jacob about to be on top, man. And all the wickedness you did, man, all, all, all the bullshit you did towards the nation of Israel, it's going to fall back upon you, man. Right. Everybody reaps what they sow. Right. You're not exempt. You're going to pay what you owe, Sam. Uh, right, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, so, Lord willing, that was edified unto the body. And with that, we're going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, 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 Yahwe